Hello, my dear students. You are most welcome to my presentation. First, I would like to welcome you to my presentation. I would like to introduce myself. Uh, this is myself, Dhruva Shankar Rai, lecturer in English, Digras Degree College, Mongla Bhagirat. Here is my cell phone number and my email number. Look at the following pictures, dear. What can you see here? Here, a man is seen standing, stressing his left hand. And this very person is very well known to any city dwellers. Yeah, he is a traffic police. Actually, he does his works accordingly in any circumstances. Okay, uh, here you see, uh, behind this very man, you can see a car uh, standing still. You can also see two bikers with a motorcycle. Yeah. So, uh, what is the picture here? It's a horrible scene. Uh, you see, uh, you, the students, uh, if you go to a uh, capital city, Dhaka, uh, this scenario is very available. And you see here different types of vehicles stacked together. Okay, this is a traffic jam. Yeah, uh, you can uh, see here different types of vehicles of different speeds. That is motorbikes, private car, jeep, buses, auto rickshaws, etc. You will uh, also see some passage by, okay? Uh, pedestrians here uh, to cross the road, yeah. This is a horrible scene in our Dhaka city in Bangladesh, yeah. So you can easily gauge the lesson phase I am going to start here, okay. Uh, unit two, lesson one for class 11, English first paper, topic name is how your brain negotiates traffic. And this is the page, okay. The objectives or learning outcomes. By the end of the lesson, you, the dear students, will be able to know what traffic is, who controls traffic, the challenges of traffic control. And you will also see a grammatical solution based on English fast paper, that is flow chart. Uh, also, uh, what do you see here? It is the interior of a private car. Yeah, inside picture of a private car. Yeah, this is a steering. Okay, fine. Uh, do you know this person? Yeah, he is a racer indeed. Mm -hmm. His name is Michael Schumacher, a German racer. Yeah. Okay, Michael Schumacher. He drives the car at 300, 300 miles per hour. What a horrible speed. Huh? Okay, yeah. this is a horrible speed. And this is the text. How your brain negotiates traffic. Let us study. When you are in a driving seat of a car, you have the steering and, it, and the horn in your hands, the brake and accelerator under your feet, eyes open, looking ahead, left and right. The same can be said about a motorcycle rider with some modifications. These are all very visible. It, all these scenarios are but visible. Steering, horn, brake, accelerator, eyes looking ahead, left and right, all are visible things. But behind all, there is something that keeps working unseen. Seen pictures and unseen situations. Unseenly, there is one thing that always 
keeps working. And that is the central processing unit. In the language of a computer, this is CPU. But actually, this is your brain. Yeah, your brain always works. Your brain is to take decisions in every situation, in every dynamic situation. It was practically, uh, if you go out in the city street with your vehicle, maybe motorcycle, or maybe private car, you must have to take decisions in every second. Okay. CPUs are artificially intelligent machines that are programmed to do specific jobs under fixed conditions and judgments. But the human brain is intelligent by nature. Computer brain, that is CPU, works according to a fixed suggestion or program. And beyond this very program or suggestion, it cannot turn. Okay, but human brain is to change the decisions in every situation. Okay, it is the most sophisticated machine, complex machine that is able to operate uh, on ever-changing conditions and standards of judgment. As conditions in traffic keep invariably changing, this virtue of sophistication of your brain must be at work when you are driving. So your brain is to take decision in every ever-changing situation while you are on driving. The difference between traffic in the roads and highways and racing circuit must not be blurring inside you. In the racing circuit, there is a certain type of vehicle which, which are told to be used here. And you may, uh, you may accelerate your speed, you may uh, increase your speed according to your situation. But while you are on the roads or highways, you cannot do so because very expensive vehicles run here. Never imagine yourself to be a Michael Schumacher driving an F1 at 300 miles per hour. So uh, uh, before starting reading this text, you saw two pictures of Michael Schumacher, a German racer. Actually, you cannot do such type of work like Michael Schumacher while you are on driving on the street, okay? So leave no room for fantasy. You must not do according to your whims in case of driving on a highway or in the city streets. You must always be ready to encounter any unexpected behavior from any vehicle or pedestrian. You may, be, you may face any unwanted situation, okay? So keep your cool. It's easy to advise, but difficult to maintain. Keep your cool. Always, you must have to keep cool. It is very easy to advise, but difficult to maintain. Yeah, still you must always restrain yourself because at the end of the day, you don't want to be regarded as a killer. So if you commit any kinds of wrong decision, if you take any wrong decision while driving, you may, you may do any kinds of serious harm to anybody, any vehicle or any pedestrian, anyone else. And maybe uh, for your own self, a person or uh, many persons die. So you will, will be considered as a killer. So uh, this is unwanted situation. Okay. Now you see the last thing that differentiates you from a computer is your conscience. Actually, human brain is to work according to the conscience. And human brain is always dynamic, but computer brain is static because it works according to the program set before. Okay, so uh, this is the text. Now, uh, we read the following questions. These questions have a word in italic ways, uh, have alternative meanings. Choose the word which is the closest in meaning. Number A, what is a steering for? Is it speeding? Is it stopping? Is it changing speed? Is it, is it drifting? 
steering is for here yeah, three axis. Number B. What is the function of accelerator? Accelerator. What is the function of a uh, of the accelerator? Accelerator is used for changing battery, changing speed, stopping, controlling. Correct for correct answer is B. Changing speed. With which organ is the word visible associated with? Visible. Visible means able to see. Yeah, so it is not the function of ear, it is not the function of nose, it is not the function of hands, but of eyes. So eyes, we can see something. Or something becomes visible actually with our eyes. The word sophisticated means sophisticated. This is complex. Yeah. Michael Schumacher is a Hollywood hero, German racing driver, English footballer, Australian cricketer. Which answer is B, German racing driver. Yeah. So these are the five MCQ questions. Okay. Actually, uh, these questions will be set in your English first paper, question number one, A, one A, okay. And now uh, uh, you have to answer some CQ questions. Answer the following questions. Uh, number one, what is the difference between a computer and the human brain? Number two, what is a CPU? What are its function? Number C, what is a racing circuit? And number D, how is a racing circuit different from a public road what is the difference between a computer and the human brain actually i told earlier that uh, the computer brain is cpu certainly cpu gets the data from input devices and then processes it and then it transmits data or gives the output uh, transmits all the information so output devices like monitors, uh, like sound box, etc. Et okay, and actually uh, this uh, computer brain uh, works according to the program, according to the uh, program set uh, before or earlier, and it cannot uh, change its, it cannot change its decisions, but the human brain is always dynamic. It is not static like the brain of a computer. Human brain is to changes the decisions in every ever changing situation, practically. Okay, so human brain can take instant decisions, which is totally impossible by the computer brain. What is a CPU? CPU is a central processing unit. And I have already told it uh, receives data from input device, it processes all this data, and it transmits the data from uh, or through output devices, yeah. Uh, what is a racing circuit? A racing circuit uh, is a, a type of place within which uh, only certain types of vehicles are allowed to run. Okay, this is uh, a racing circuit, in, within a racing circuit, some cars or bikes are allowed, uh, and with drivers of bike or car are allowed to run their vehicles yeah how is a racing circuit different from a public road with well, in a racing circuit actually certain types of vehicles are allowed to run and they can uh, speed up their vehicle okay uh, according to the situation but in a public road there is different different types of uh, vehicles uh, of uh, different speed and uh, they uh, they are to consider other person's interest because uh, for any wrong decision of any driver uh, uh, a serious misfortune may occur so uh, this is the uh, difference between the racing circuit and the public road okay Make sentences with the following words and phrases. Uh, here, uh, I have uh, given some words 
for you. Sophisticated fantasy, pedestrian, convince, unseen, driving seat. Suppose you are in a driving seat. So you are not driving a car or any bike. And you have all the elements within your reach and you are to take decisions from your brain. Hmm? Your brain always works. And you are to think of yourself. Will you ride the car or bike out of your whim or fantasy? You cannot. You are to consider the pedestrians or other types of vehicles of different spirits as is as are running on the street. So you have to convince your brain how you will drive your car. Okay. So in every situation, you have to take decision. Uh, 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 actually, um, there is very seen activities and some unseen activities. And of course, driving seat. You are uh, actually sitting on a driving seat. And these very situations uh, with the words and phrases, and you have to uh, do some works. And what are those very works? What are the reasons of road accidents? Write your answer within 120 words. So uh, in G, make sentences with the following words and phrases. I have told this that uh, you are to make some sentences. So try to expand your ideas using these very words and phrases in respect of your text. Uh, you may also expand your thinking power and this very expansion may turn into writing a paragraph. Okay, so you are to have a better practice. And now, what are the reasons of road accidents? Write your answer within 120 words. What are the reasons of road accidents? Actually, there are various types of reasons for road accident. Every road accident is an unwanted situation, unwanted occurrences. Yet, the, every road accident, behind every road accident, there are various types of reasons. First of all, we see different types of vehicles on the streets in our country. Okay, and especially the city streets are very busy. And of course, there are the traffic rules in our country, but all the drivers cannot and do not maintain or obey these very traffic rules. They always try to drive their own vehicles, that is cars or bikes or such other uh, items with their sweet oil. As a result of this, we see some tragic situation, which are totally unwanted. And, and then different types of vehicles run on the same road according to their own will. Actually, different types of vehicles have different speed limits. But they try to um, drive their own vehicles as they wish. There is no particular lanes as are directed in our uh, country roads. Okay, that's why uh, we we see the problems. And uh, there is uh, the narrow roads everywhere. Actually, all the roads are not uh, so large, so wide, and uh, this uh, this is also one of the reasons. And uh, uh, actually, uh, the um, uh, every driver actually who want to drive their own vehicles, they uh, don't uh, convince uh, by himself that one is overtaking him. So uh, I will uh, try my level best to overtake him. Uh, and this very racing mentality on the highway causes unwanted situations like road accidents. And there is also uh, accident is accident, uh, maybe. Uh, so uh, we 
uh, first of all, try our level best. We should try our level best to maintain all the rules of the traffic. Okay, traffic rules should be maintained strictly. And of course, uh, the infrastructure uh, should be developed. And the conditions of our roads are not so well uh, to drive the vehicles smoothly. Uh, so various types of uh, causes uh, will come here for road accidents. Okay, so you are to write down all these very reasons accordingly. Okay, thank you. Next, I would like to give you a group work. And this very group work is certainly a flow chart. Uh, in my last class, I told you about flow chart. What is a flow chart? Flow means stream in Bangla, Prabaho. Chart means talika or sock. So, Prabaho talika. Flow chart means Prabaho talika. You are to maintain a flow, rhythm, and uh, the rhythm for which the rhythm for a chart and of course within the chart there would be some information based on the certain theme which will be instructed by the question setter for you in your question paper that is based on your reading of the text make short notes in each of the boxes of the flow chart showing the functions and characteristics of human brain the functions and characteristics of human brain with Actually, this is written in italics. After showing, in the question, after showing, which are written about the theme of your flowchart, the functions and characteristics of human brain. The functions and characteristics of human brain, according to the message. So the theme of the flowchart is the function and characteristics of a brain. And you have already read the text. That is how your brain negotiates traffic. This is the theme of your text. And now the theme of your flowchart is the function and characteristics of human brain according to the passion. Number one has been given for you. And uh, uh, you are to uh, de decide according to the first point. On the basis of the theme of the question, that is the function of the, uh, and characteristics of human brain, the first point is given here. Okay, and the first point is working invisibly. The function and characteristics of human brain working invisibly. This is the first one. And you are to write your answers. You are to write your answers in the box number two, then in the three, then in the four then in the five, and then last one in the six. And all these very answers should maintain the structure of the first point given. Okay, that means work plus ing, that is working invisibly, verb plus ing. So in the second box, you are to answer following the same structure and of course associated with this very theme the function and characteristics of human brain. So uh, I hope uh, you will do all these answers accordingly and you will show me, okay? Thank you. Uh, you will complete all your answers and of course, uh, you, you will show me through uh, yeah, using or by using your email address or in our group, okay? Uh, I will try to solve all your problems there. Thank you. And uh, I like to uh, give you a homework also. And this very homework is uh, to write a paragraph on traffic police within one computer. Traffic police. You know, a traffic police is to maintain or uh, maintain or uh, to his duties and responsibilities accordingly. Uh, it may be a sunny day or rainy day or any rough situation or the weather is unfavorable, but he is to perform his duties. He is to try his level best to 
मेक आवर मूवमेंट सही करता ओके इंग्लिश Eleven and twelve, and Google search from these very sources. Uh, I uh, got the information here. This I have tried to uh, show you and give you. And actually, uh, I like to thank you once again for attending the session. Okay, thank you very much. So, my dear students, you must not, you must not mistake to. show me all your group work and uh, homework okay thank you very much so wherever you are by this time you must have to make you sound and safe you must stay home and stay safe okay thank you